All right, so we're going to look at solving uh, problems for with linear velocity. Uh, these are the examples that I'm going to work. Uh, example 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You can take a look at them. Each problem will have its own video. So this will be video uh, example 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And there's 5. It's and Check it out. It has a little little twist to it there so you know check them out so but before we get into looking at the problems let's look and see linear velocity it says if P is a point on a circle of radius R and P, and P moves a distance s on the circumference of the circle in an amount of time T then the linear velocity V of P is given by the formula uh, v equals s over t, where s is theta times r, and theta is in radians. So basically, s, you should recognize this formula. This is just the formula for arc length. Okay, And it's important that you make sure that theta is in radians. Okay, And also, to find the linear velocity, we can write uh, the linear velocity v is equal to r times omega and omega is the angular velocity so if you know the angular velocity and the radius just plug it in there and that'll give you the linear velocity also alright so let's take a look at an example alright so let's look at the fourth example on uh, linear velocity says Earth travels about the Sun in an orbit that is almost circular. Assume that the orbit is a circle with radius 93,000, I mean, I'm sorry, 93 million miles. Find the linear speed of Earth in miles per hour. All right, so let's write our formula down. So linear velocity is uh, S over T. And we know that S is theta times R, okay, and theta is in radians. So, well, let's just go ahead and get the easy one out. Uh, the radius is going to be 93 million, and that's in miles. All right, so now we need to get theta. Okay, so let's see. We've got we've got the sun here. I'll do that in a different color. So we've got the sun here, and we've got Earth out here, and it's traveling around the sun in a circle. <clears throat> All right. So if it starts here, well, how long does it take for the Earth to make one revolution. Well, that's one year. Okay. So that's that's what we're going to use to find theta is based on one revolution. Okay. So when the Earth goes around one time, that's how many degrees for the angle. Well, that's 360 degrees, right? So theta is 360 degrees, but remember, theta needs to be in radians, so that would be 2 pi. Okay, so there's theta. <clears throat> so that's going to tell me that S is R times theta, which is 93 million times... 2 pi. So let's see, we get S is 186 million. All right, so there's S. <clears throat> All right, so here we've got V is S. Nope, I'm sorry. Look what I did. I left off the pi. So V is S, which is 186 
million pi over t. All right, so let's talk about this a minute. If you've watched the other videos, I've always said just calculate it in the units that they give you and then convert your final answer. Okay, but notice they gave us nothing about revolutions per minute, revolutions per hour, and they didn't say it took this long to make one revolution. They didn't give you anything like that. Okay, but we know that it takes one year. Okay, so the time it took for this, for S, is one year. All right, and so we could put T, we could put a 1 there. But they do want the answer in miles per hour. So why not, since they didn't give us a unit, let's just get years into hours. Okay, so one year, okay, so one year we know is what? 365 days. Okay. So 1 times 365 is 365 and that is days. So that's how many days it takes the earth to make one revolution. Okay. But still we want hours. Okay. Well how many hours are in a day? 24. So we could do 365 times 24 hours. So let's see, 365 times 24, that is 8,760 hours. So one revolution of the Earth takes one year, or we could say it takes 365 days, or we can say it takes 8,760 hours. All of these times are the same. They're just in different units. So the time it took for S, we're going to use 8,760 hours. Okay. Now, you could have, uh, you could have got it in years and then converted it and that, that's perfectly fine. But since they didn't give us the units, well, let's just go ahead and put what we need there. So we get the linear velocity, so 186 uh, times pi, and then we'll divide that by 8,760, and we get And I'm just going to round it. I'm not going to put any decimals. So 66,705, and that would be miles per hour. Okay. So I hope the video helped. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe, and check out my other videos. And thanks for watching.